Welcome to the world's longest uninterrupted waterfront path, the sea wall. And what a path it is. to do here and the sea wall starts right from the convention center and I think it's a 20 kilometer stretch or something. Yes, it's a 28 kilometer stretch that starts at Canada Place and this is where cruise ships park next to the Vancouver Convention Center. From there, the path curls around Cole Harbour where you'll walk past the float plane docks and if you're lucky, you may see many airplanes take off or land on the water and it extends as far as beaches of Spanish banks crossing Stanley Park, English Bay, Kitsilano Beach, Falls Creek, Science World and so much more. Oh, look at that. There's a seaplane here. So, you can either walk here or ride a bike. So, I've rented the Mobi bicycle, but you can always get bike from other bicycle rental shops as well, which is more convenient because this one, you have to dock after every 30 minutes, which is not good if you want to absorb this place. It's a perfect place for a walk, cycle or jog and is the most popular spot in the city. Obviously, I'm not going to complete the entire route, but definitely I'll try to cover at least five kilometers. So let's not waste time because we just have a couple of hours to explore and let's go. Look at this view. Can you believe this is right in downtown? So you see all the high rise buildings on one side and on the other side, we have the mountains, the cruises, the seaplanes. Ah, I can't wait to explore more. Did you see that? This is truly breathtaking. And that's the entire skyline of downtown Vancouver. And along the way, this scenic route provides you with stunning views I promise you will be mesmerized. So the seawall is divided into two clearly marked sections, one for walkers and joggers closest to the water and one for cyclists and skaters inside the path. And the only directions you'll need all day are just keep following the seawall. Also, you can make frequent stops at some places in between. So the first place that I'm stopping by is the totem poles. So you can take a teeny detour to visit the totem poles. I think there are about 9 to 10 totem poles which are beautiful First Nations works of art that dates back as far as the 1880s. So simply lock up your bike and walk to admire these remarkable pieces of artwork and then be quickly on your way back. Another cool spot to stop in between is this. It's called Brockton Point Light Station. And look at the view from here. This is the place where they used to guide the ships in and out of Cold Harbour. And this looks like, I swear, painting again. Wow, you can even go downstairs. This is actually a real light. I've never been this close to a lighthouse. And look at the view from here. If you plan to come here, you'll want to budget some extra time for stops to take in attractions like the legendary totem poles, prospect point, lookout to the north shore, the rock and the beaches along the west side of the park. You can just sit here for hours and hours. Now, on to the next one. Pick up drinking water. Fresh water from the ocean, why not? We were literally thirsty. Yeah. A lesson, we just forgot to get the water bottles, do get water bottles. It's a long ride, but definitely worth it. Thank God it's not raining. She's just chilling right beside the ocean. Do you live in this beautiful place? You're lucky. So in like four to five days, I've come here twice, but this is the first time that I got Saranj here. So what do you think, Sarah? Was this worth it? I'm actually thinking, I've been to so many countries but I haven't seen something like this. To be honest, this is next level. The beauty of this place. What else can you ask for? I mean, you have seaplanes going above you. You are cycling along the ocean. You can actually see snow peak mountains from here. From the city itself, from the downtown. I mean, 
people who are living here in the city are so lucky every morning they can come and just enjoy a beautiful sunset which hopefully we will too yeah oh. what is this place wow what is this place this it looks like a painting this doesn't feel real at all. Uh, I don't think the video can do justice, to be honest. Not at all. Not at all. Really want to absorb this place, get a snack, and spend the entire day here with this scenic, picturesque view. Wow. <laughs> Saranj, we have to stop. Whoa. Wow. What is this? What is this, guys? Do we have a beach here as well? Wow. Whoa. Okay, we gotta stop here. This city is not disappointing us with its natural beauty. Now we have a beach as well. Yes, Whoa. let's go. Wow, I'm sure you're enjoying the scenic beauty of Vancouver. But before you go ahead with the video, I just want to thank today's sponsor of the video, Surfshark. So if you're not familiar with Surfshark, it's a VPN and easy to use app or browser extension that allows you to use internet as if you were in a different country. Also, it encrypts your data for privacy so that hackers don't steal your information. And especially nowadays that we have all of our banking information online and also social media passwords and everything, we all want to be safe, right? I can connect unlimited number of devices with just one account. And apart from keeping me safe, the number one reason I love using them is because I'm able to access all the Netflix shows and movies that are not available here in Canada, sadly. So I'm able to watch all the Indian shows using this. So if you're traveling anytime soon, or if you're working from cafes, and also if you're a Netflix lover like me and want to access all the shows and everything, you should use that. Don't tell anyone, okay? This is a secret. So if you want to be safe, just use my code Peekapoo because by using that, you'll get 83% off. Wow, 83%? That's actually a pretty sweet deal. But if you're still not convinced, you'll get three extra months free along with antivirus for the whole 27 months. Okay, this time this deal is super hard to ignore. And you can thank me later for this. And also thank you Surfshark for helping out my audience here and for keeping me safe and for sponsoring this video. And now back to the video. Whoa! Whoa! We are at the beach now. I wish we had some more days to spend here so we could explore more places that means we are coming back to vancouver again 100 this is not going to be our 100 last time obviously not we might come next to next month again or probably in fall at that time we plan to rent a car and explore the outbacks as well we'll go to whistler as well we've had ups and downs seen our world spin round but here we are still hands in hand do you want to see what we are looking at here you Views from the path are simply stunning. The mighty mountains on one side and the lovely water on the other. What could possibly be better? You're the best part of You're the best part of You're the best part of This was fun. I think we should look at this place. It's almost time for sunset and we should leave but looking at this, who wants to leave? And as you make your way along the route, every corner reveals a different breathtaking view. The majestic North Shore Mountains, the spectacular views of the sea, the Lionsgate Bridge, the sandy beaches of English Bay and the glittering downtown Vancouver skyline. We could wander as far as the eye can see. I wanna take you with me. Where do you wanna go? Imagine the way it could be if life was an open road. Come on and take it easy. See the whole world up close. 
Saranj, do you see that bridge? Yeah, I do. That's the Lion's Gate Bridge. Oh, nice. So then I think that's, that's the bridge that's from it. where you went to Whistler. Oh, okay. And that side is North Vancouver. Where you see houses on a mountain? Yeah. I really feel like dozing off here. So if you're wondering whether to explore the seawall by foot or bike, let me help you out. Definitely each option has its own advantages, but in my personal opinion, the best way to enjoy the seawall is on bicycle because you can cover more places, it's physically less taxing as the entire route is almost flat the entire way and it's more fun. What do you think? I have no words, I'm speechless. This city doesn't fail to surprise me. At any of the places that I've been, I'm impressed. I swear. It's just the rains. If it's not raining, this is heaven. But when it starts raining, there's nothing much that you can do, even when you have this beauty. I mean, you can always be geared up, but still, you know, without rains, it's just another level. That's the Lion's Gate Bridge which is very popular here in Vancouver yeah it connects mainland to North Vancouver I guess told you there are a lot of spots that you can stop at right so there's Prospect Beach Lookout there's Third Beach, English Bay, Totem Pole, City Center all via seawall I think we are going to end at the English Bay that's where our hotel is so just a bit of seawall left we actually went on that bridge when we went to uh, the Capilano Bridge and now we are getting a different perspective while we are at the sea wall looking at the entire bridge from here with the ocean obviously oh, We are so close to the bridge Look at this We are right under the bridge I can hear the cars. This is so cool. I think we are going to go underneath it as well. Look at that! Beautiful! In fact, spending a day exploring the seawall is one of the best ways to spend a day while you're in the city. It was honestly my favorite thing in the entire week that I spent in Vancouver. And whenever I visit Vancouver the next time, this will be the first place that I'll go to. You know what's the best viewpoint in this entire seawall? Just when you cross the bridge, you get this. My heart literally skipped a beat looking at this view. Ah, this is beautiful. There are rocks on one side, or mountains, I guess. Ooh. Oh my god. You know what the time is? 9 pm. We have to come here again. It doesn't look like 9 pm. I think we should come at this spot again during the day. Yeah. What do you think? In yeah. the morning? Yeah, in the morning. I think we've reached one beach, and there are people sitting doing the campfire here with their dogs wow there's so many dogs running around the campfire this is so cute and this is such a nice beach yeah. wow we've reached the third beach now and people are sitting doing campfires 
this doesn't seem Canada. <laughs> Looking at the view, I just told Saranj this looks like there was one patch that literally looked like Greece. I'm not even kidding. I think next beach is going to be ours, English Bay Beach. One tip, get here early because we reached back in downtown at like 9.30. We started quite late but to absorb it all you need time. So always come early. We are good. And we are done with the seawall. Highly, highly recommend coming here. You will be blown away. So I really hope you enjoyed this scenic seawall of Vancouver. And if you did, please don't forget to hit that like button. And also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.